Imagine a world where technology has achieved the unthinkable. Immortality. Where death is no longer the inevitable end. The quest for the elixir of life, but not in the way we might have envisioned. And the title of this video is called The Zombie Apocalypse, When and How. The urgency to live and achieve our goals, would it not be dulled by the endless stretch of existence? Would the earth be able to sustain a never aging and a never dying population? Sometimes the cost of a dream may just be too high to bear. The enemy of all living things, careful John. That is what I mean, Leo. That is the swinging march of man's enemy. Time, bringing death. There are two genetic engineers at MIT that are convinced about the possibility of immortality. Humans will only die in accident. So these are planarian worms, flatworms. This population of stem cells allows them to regenerate. Um, and some people refer to them as immortal. Some people call them zombie cells. You know, essentially undead. The microchip implants that let you pay with your hand. When Elias Brodberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID, and he doesn't need money. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. But my speculation is that there will be far more to this mark than meets the eye. In the quest for immortality, could zombie cells be embedded into the microchip when it becomes compulsory under the rule of the world dictator? the Bible calls the Antichrist? And influence people's emotions. People will be unable to think. Can you imagine a world where immortality becomes a curse rather than a blessing? This is the chilling reality described in the book of Revelation. A Jewish temple is predicted to rise again. For three and a half years, two prophets dressed in sackcloth predict the coming of the Messiah to the earth, but the sacred temple will be defiled by a global dictator who erects a monument of himself and demands to be worshipped as God. The temple priests valiantly try to defend this space, standing their ground between the portico and the altar, but are mercilessly slaughtered. This dictator, known as the Antichrist, forces everyone on the planet to receive his mark. The World Economic Forum says that CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. Those who refuse this mark under the dictator will come to a gruesome end. The two prophets who preached of Messiah's return are killed and left in the streets for three days, after which miraculously they come back to life and ascend to heaven in full view of the world. Those who have accepted the mark of the beast then suffer a terrifying fate. The first angel poured out his bowl on the earth, and malignant sores broke out on those who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. The result of the immediate mass implants without due course to sterilization process, as how these sores could break out in so short a time and continue to grow and reproduce due to the DNA of the immortal worm which are made mostly from metals and other inorganic materials, which is a nice way of saying not natural. And in those days, people will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. These nanobots increase the production rate of the eternal worm within them, transforming the afflicted in something akin 
to the living dead. And they shall go out and look on the dead bodies of the men who have rebelled against me, for their worm shall not die, their fire shall not be quenched, and they shall be an abhorrence to all flesh. People assume that the scripture is talking about maggots when they talk about worms. But notice it speaks about their worm. And first of all, it's one worm and not many, so it cannot be maggots. And the word there is a personal pronoun, which means something belonging to them alone and will only be understood in the last days. These individuals meet a fiery end where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. This stark depiction from the book of Revelation serves as a grim reminder of the importance of choosing the Lord Jesus Christ as your Saviour. Now that you've watched this video, you may like to give a thought as to whether you want to actually go through this terrible time of tribulation or whether you might like to take a chance on Jesus Christ who promised to deliver us from this horror that's about to come. So I would say to you, be serious and think about your eternal future and make a choice now that you will decide to follow Jesus Christ because nobody else gives you the promise of eternal life. Thank you.